All right, welcome back to the Unfinished Swan. We are going to see what this big old giant has to say for himself. Freaking lazy butthead. Yeah, there's no run button. Yeah, shut up, goose! You're gonna get yours soon. Is that his, is that his head? Is that his foot? I don't Oh, it's his elbow. Wake up! Freaking jerk. Well, he's not gonna wake up. Let's see what we got to work with here. We got a thing. Oh, and a nice touch that I um, forgot to mention. Ooh. I always like when there's a little peek at uh, what's ahead or whatever. But you can't go there yet. Soon. Soon, TM. But yeah, this game uses the uh, light bar differently on each level. So, like, the last level we were throwing, it was kind of gray. So, we're throwing black paint in a white space. Now it's a uh, blue color. And on the menu, it's kind of this neutral, like, taupe ish kind of color. Um. More smeekrits that we can see. Oh, hey! Sometimes the giant wondered about where all the people in the city had gone. Mostly he worried they might come back and ask him to clean their gutters or put out their fires. But they never did, and that was why the giant, who was the laziest that had ever lived, was also the happiest. What a selfish giant. The spider duck again. How dare you be able to do the spider duck thing. Oh, I got some Z fight in here. Sure it's clean for, you know, if you drained the water from most ravines, you would not get a clean thing. You would get something very, very nasty indeed. Water is nice, but standing water tends to result in things. What you got here? Ooh! A little sub, or uh, whatchamacallit, sewer way thingy. Go on. Before he discovered painting, the king was a potter. He loved the simplicity of a well-spun pot. So when his subjects complained that his new city was too austere and that there was nowhere to relieve themselves, the king ignored them. But when they started relieving themselves in his pots, the king hastily built them a sewer system. <laughs> the king doesn't seem like the brightest fellow, to be quite honest. Yeah. Alright. The water ball is one of the best ones to do this with. You just spam a bunch until the first ones despawn. Which takes a while. Where do they despawn? I think, yeah, at some point they eventually despawn. It's a lot of balls now. Got a lot of balls coming in here. Oh, I can't open it. Oop! Back into the pit. I meant to do that. Alright. Oh, there's the giant in all of his glory. All of his lazy, dumb glory. I'm gonna shoot him. Yeah! Yeah! Call of Duty 2017! Call of Duty Swan Warfare. Exclusive DLC only on PlayStation. Uh. Oh, there you go. Sploosh that water in there. Hopefully no horrible monsters appear in it like all of the other water we've seen so far. Uh, where are we going? Oh. Let's go over that boat. It's a game that's very quiet, but at the same time, the sound design is very important because it feel it makes it. Uh oh. I'm sure there's nothing to be concerned about in here. It's fine. See, it's it's fine. They don't have a taste for human flesh or anything. Oh, what's this? Oh, a little tax. Okay. I think there was supposed to be a balloon in here, but like we said before. Ooh. Nice little view. Like we said before, I already got all those. <laughs> look, at the, look at this. The, the OSHA would have 
a collective aneurysm if they saw this. I don't think I don't think you're supposed to build things like that. I'm not. I don't think you're supposed to have part two scaffolding. I think you're supposed to have a, a hole in the ladders either. Has anyone ever seen a hole in a ladder like that? It's in like every video game that has ladders has holes like that. I don't like. How do you even construct a ladder that would survive having a hole put in it? Whatever. Also, they do sort of the... Well, it's really just specific to the ladders, the gold color. But they do sort of that trick that Uncharted does. If you haven't noticed, you probably do if you played Uncharted, but... Uh, climbable edges are almost always golden in... Uh, or, you know, at least a different color. I think they... Um, I'm not sure it was as pronounced in the first two games, but it's much more noticeable in um, Gold Abyss and Un Uncharted uh, 4. Uh, they just... Um, I think in Gold Abyss they're always specifically yellow, but uh, just a little bit of a uh, slightly subtle design to say, hey, go here. Or you can do, you can do things on this. Ooh, spooky vines. And yeah, I decided I will censor out the uh, chapter titles. They're kind of spoilers, so yeah, I'll I'll edit those out from the video. Oh, <laughs> the two genders. Um, oh, ladders are weird in this. They're not quite Half Life One weird, but uh, oh, which way? Ah, goose, get back here! I'll get you next time, gadget. What does this do? Oh, I see. Well, that seems safe. That seems exceedingly safe. That seems so safe it disgusts me. Alright, can we go... That's the opposite of the way I want it to go. Oh, we can't climb across it, though. So, I think we want this... No, this way. We want this to face thorny stuff so we can get over there. Um, hmm. um, maybe something up here will let us get across. What we got here. Uh, nothing. Maybe... Maybe if we start over here. No, no, this way. I love the little trees. They're the, the houses. Exactly not trees. The little blue caps on the houses. Oh. L ladders are very difficult, you see. Um, a reason I've always sort of favored PlayStations, they always have, um, at least lately, since last gen, well, I guess in general, they did a good job of funding and supporting the more weird and artistic sort of games. Like, um, Unfinished Swan, Hohokam, uh, Watam, the new game from, um, from the creator of Katamari. Oh, that looks a little bit damaged. Ah, right, here we go. Now we can have our cake and eat it too. Oh wait, this way, this way. Yeah, they've just always done a, bit, a really good job of supporting some of the weird stuff, like, uh, like Flow and, uh, Flower and Journey. Um, some of the games that they, uh, from that game company, they did, um, that was a really good, um, I would, I guess not acquisition, but good publishing move, I guess. Um, cause those games kinda, you know, I like my artsy free games, but sometimes, sometimes, ooh. Sometimes a game's require, or at least could benefit from a bit of a higher budget, like Journey, uh, much as I like Journey, I'm I'm not really sure it would have been you know possible with uh, you know without publishing funds. Um, oh, there's that goose sleeping on a balloon. Get get you freaking goose! You geese make me sick. Coming in here, drinking all of our water, pooping it on our buildings, and you sleep on our balloons. That looks uh oh. You know what, Geronimo? Splat. Yeah, no fall damage. The kid just kind of complains a bit. Monroe. We've got some spooky vines going on. Not sure what's what's all up in this. Uh, we can't water the spooky vines either. Oh, we got story. 
Brace yourselves for story time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. As the city filled up with people, the streets filled up with garbage. In a fury, the king painted over the roads with a canal, which swept away the trash along with some of the slower children. <laughs> the water got a horde of vines which began covering the city. Rest in peace, slow children. Oh, wait, wait. That, that, no. Okay. This one was not made for the hose. Like I said, the hose is not something you're supposed to have by now. Oh! Hi, giant spider! How you doing? Do you want to meet my friend? Do you want to give me a little hug with all eight of your legs and some of your teeth? Sounds fine with me. It's still going around. What? Oh, that was a switch. The switches look like ping pong paddles. What did that do? Part three, new growth. Hey, get back here, goose. Get, 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 get out of here. Oh, what other game was? Neva! Neva is a game that uh, made quite a few years after this. But, um, well, not quite a few, but a few years after this. It um, has some growy vine physics as well. See, the vines aren't, see, these vines aren't scary. They're just happy little vines. You know? Can we climb the vines? Of course we can climb the vines. Alright. These ones look a little less happy. I guess these ones are all dead. But that's fine. We can just replace them with more alive vines. We gotta go show that goose who's boss. You're not the boss of me, goose! You're not my real dad! Get, get up the thing. Monroe. There you go. Alright. A oh, little, little, little water feature here. Um, what if we got some vines? Can we get these down here? Yes! Get your viney butts down here. Do vines have butts? I don't think they do. But whatever. It's fine. They have, I'm sure they have some sort of approximation of butts, and that's all that really matters. It's just the sort of game where sometimes you just need to take a quick break and look at things. I like games that, that are like that. That's one thing, that's one reason I, I never thought that walking sims really require uh, a slow down, like to slow you down, no run button, you know that contemplative pace thing because if you make if you design the game well you just stop and you you just want to stop and look and be like dang and that's what this game does for me at least um oh, we can climb up here and i just i think your game if your game is slow and contemplative as long as you you know you give me some sights and stuff to slow me down, some things to think about, or look at, or listen to. You know, I'll slow down, I'll think, I'll contemplate. You don't need to enforce that with, you know, slow movement speed. This game doesn't have too slow movement speed. I'm moving around pretty decently here. But uh, some other games, uh, everybody's gone to the Rapture, everybody. Um, that's, that's one that a lot of people, you know, thought was too slow. And I'll agree on that one. Even, I found the run button. But, uh, it honestly feels more psychological in nature than it does, like, actually being fast. What's this? Oh, it's like a topiary thing. Oh, it's a little... it's, it's a whale! <laughs> Splatting some water on there. They had fun with the physics stuff. I wonder, did we... Did we repair any of the other stuff around here? Maybe the wreath thing, but whatever. Too late for that. Let's just continue along. This way, vines. It's like leading a pet. Aw, oh, speaking of leading pets, um, it might already be out by the time you watch this video, but, um... Hey! Hold still! Aw, oh, you jerk. Um, 
The Last Guardian's coming soon. I, I'm very ready for that. My body is all flavors of ready. I'm not sure if I need to bring those all the way around. Ooh, what's in here? Uh, it's nothing. Ooh. Big ol' wall. Hmm. Alright. We got some solid gold, like, drainage system. Not, not a waste of civic funds at all. Why are they, like, despawning? Don't, do I need you to go up the walls? Or, maybe I'm done with the vines. Oh! Oh, they grew into the That's what happens when you don't look around while you're going around. Oh, we got vines. Oh, yes! Whee! Heck yeah! And, some, and a musical flourish to go with it. The palace. You know, I actually might split this one up. I might, I might have to split this one in two, because I got... Um, it's been about 15 minutes. I actually gotta get to something quick here. But uh, we'll take a look at this. Look at this tree! It's what a good tree. Let's shoot it. Yeah! Modern warfare, boy! Yeah! Gun shooting. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that was included. That was the one thing this game missed. That and death. See, th there's a fail state. There's guns. You can't say this isn't a video game. This is the most video game that ever video gamed, my children. Yes.